Want to know what's trending on today's 5 to know? Ah, sadly, Dr. Pepper hasn't been safe from the pandemic. There's a shortage of the drink right now. Some suggest that the shortage was caused by customers who loaded their pantries with canned drinks in the spring, the beginning of the pandemic, and then here we are today. So, while the company takes a step back and thinks of ways to get the pop back on the shelves, here's a quick five to know of the history of Dr. Pepper. We can't talk about Dr. Pepper without talking about Waco, Texas in 1885, the birthplace of the drink. We have Charles Alderton, who was a young pharmacist working at Morrison's store. He's believed to be the inventor of the now famous Dr. Pepper. Spent a lot of his time mixing up medicine for the people of Waco, of course, but he also liked to serve carbonated drinks at the soda fountain, because it was back in the day, like how they used to have those. So after some trial and error, the taste was perfected and ta-da! Other patrons at Morrison's Soda Fountain heard about the drink, tried it, loved it, and then began asking for it by ordering a Waco. The name. Ah, uh, I wish I had some better explanation for you guys on where it came from exactly. Unfortunately, the origin is still unclear. There's about a dozen different stories out there about how the drink became known as Dr. Pepper, but one of the more popular theories is that Morrison named it after the father of a young girl he was once in love with. Plus, at the time, it was pretty common to proceed names of products with doctor to make them sound more, you know, healthy. Like how cigarettes used to be marketed with a doctor's stamp of approval. Now, how did Dr. Pepper get so popular in the first place to where here in 2020 there's a shortage? Back in 1904, it was introduced to 20 million people attending the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis. The perfect time for a major debut on the global scale because this was also the same World's Fair where hamburgers and odd dogs were first served on buns. Next thing, got a quick fact for you I want to sneak in before we wrap up our 5 to know on Dr. Pepper. Congress once classified Dr. Pepper as a food. Small refresher on history. When sugar was rationed in World War II, naturally Dr. Pepper petitioned Congress to reclassify soda as a food. They created a booklet called the Liquid Bite that said that the energy boost from the sugar in the soda was essential to the war effort. Guess it worked. And finally, the age-old question, what exactly are the 23 flavors President Dr. Pepper? People think they know, but they really don't. The recipe is literally locked in a vault at the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group headquarters in Plano, Texas, but at least some people online think they're sure that there's flavors of Armoretto, black licorice, clove, caramel, cola, ginger, root beer, pepper, some say prune. And there's your five to know the history of Dr. Pepper while we're in a shortage in 2020 right now. I'm your host and producer, Nat Cardona. I'll see you later.